The photo album is fragile. Many of the pages have crumbled free of the backing and are out of the original sequence, but the pictures are wonderful. The album belongs to former Apache Powder Company employee Harriet Scove. She received it from her grandmother, Hulda, whose husband, Lars, set up the machinery at Apache's Shell House. Originally, the album had belonged to a close friend, Mrs. Fogg, wife of one of the company founders. Photos on the first few pages, taken in 1919 and 1920, document the search for a site on which to build the new dynamite plant. There are pictures from Bisbee, Naco, Tucson, Nogales, Benson, Cananea, Mexico, and points between. Several photos show the selected site south of Benson before construction began. Later pages provide a glimpse into life at Apache Camp, a tent village on company property just outside the plant boundary. We see big trees and rows of tents with cars of the era parked outside. Some structures appear to be wood frames with canvas walls, conventional doors, and corrugated metal roofs. This was not a grim place where construction workers bunked at night, but a community of families, kids, and parents, and even old folks. Shots of Hulda, known as Scoby, and her friend Mrs. Fogg show well-dressed, cheerful ladies. We see one building with a sign over the door, Apache Wikia. Perhaps that was a general store. Another board structure is identified, the boarding house. These days, it's hard to imagine living in a community without running water or electricity, a place where water and bathroom facilities were nearby. Pictures taken during the summer suggest a beautiful place of encampment. But the winters must have been rough, with pot-bellied wood stoves working hard to take the edge off the cold. The tents were phased out in about 1928 when permanent housing was constructed. About the same time, new homes were built in Benson along what is known as Apache Row, and some of the country folks became city folks. We know that years later, during World War II, Scobie worked on plant in the case house, packing dynamite into wooden cases for shipment to the customers. Of her own time at Apache, Harriet notes, the name stenciled on my powder uniform read H. Scove, just as was on my grandmother's. That meant a lot to me. Mm -hmm.